Koreans are like our some of our best friends. In the Navy, a lot of people I served with were stationed in Korea. Mm -hmm. So they loved Korea. I wish South and North Korea could figure out some way of, you know, getting along without all the, you know, craziness. Uh, it'd be nice to have families be able to come back together again. You know, it's one of the most dynamic economies mm -hmm. on earth. Mm -hmm. um, manufacture so much electronics and shipping and for a, for a small country, you know, uh, South Korea does does a lot. I wish we had the internet service <laughs> in the United States that a lot of Korea has. Anya Hateo Che Edelman, Brian Imida. Hello, uh, mm. my name's Brian and uh, I'm a retired mailman and I've been out about six months on the road with my with my retired ambulance, uh, Mary, that's her name. That was her name <laughs> nice uh, when uh, they, their call sign was One Mary 43. So mm -hmm. I just call her Mary. And uh, I'm having a wonderful time meeting lots of great people. And uh, it's, it's, life is good. I'm from Indiana. I retired uh, five years ago. Took care of my parents. Mm -hmm. And uh, my dad passed away last um, March. So um, after we got all that Sorry. taken care of, mm. and I decided to hit the road mm. and and see what I could see. Yeah. Why did you take the ambulance? There are so many trailers, RVs, different kind of RVs. Well, but ambulance is a little bit unusual. Well, it's made really well, mm -hmm. you know, uh, because they have to be safe for mm -hmm. you know the pe people that are hurt. Um, so everything in there is made to last, you know, mm. almost forever. Yeah. So this is already um, 25 years old. Oh really? Yeah. But it looks not that old. Right. Um, and it's got a, a big uh, engine in it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's easy to get up in the mountains and, mm -hmm. and across the desert. And, mm. uh, it has super power. Super power. It's got <laughs> okay. a turbocharged uh, uh -huh. eight cylinder diesel engine. How many miles on it? I you had 193,000 when I bought it. Mm -hmm. And I put about 5,000 on it since I've been on the road. What year is, is this? Uh, 1995. 1995. Mm. It is okay to convert the RV inside? Really, I didn't have to do anything. Um, mm. <laughs> I, there, was a, there was a thing that said ambulance. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to peel that off. Mm -hmm. You know, so people wouldn't think I was an ambulance. Uh -huh. But they let me leap the lights. Uh -huh. And the siren's still on it, and the speaker, you know, I can talk to people over the PA system. Then, what's your registration for this? It's, is it it's RV a, or? It's, it's a commercial vehicle. Commercial vehicle. Yeah. Mm. Um, I told the insurance company that I was going to primarily use it as a, mm. as a camper and a fish to go fishing. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, they can call that a commercial vehicle. Mm. So, they did, and, and okay. I was very happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. No, you're uh, welcome. Well, there's there's all these cabinets yeah. on, on the inside and the outside. Yeah. Um, they have vents, mm -hmm. you know, air vents, and they have lights built into them. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. It's all aluminum. And there's no wood. There's no wood. Like, yeah. If you take, if you get past this metal mm -hmm. body, it's aluminum yeah. and insulation. Yeah. So it, it won't burn. There's nothing yeah. in it to burn. And then no leaking on the roof. The, the roof is just one big solid piece of metal with, yeah. with no hope, no leaking. Um, there's more compartments, and wow. that one actually goes up into the inside. Yeah, that's I just loved it when I first saw it. Um, I was like, this is exactly the empty is, is bad. Bad. <laughs> bad. How bad? 10, 10 or 12 miles to the gallon. Oh, not bad then. It's not terrible, but it's it's pretty bad. It, it weighed almost 11,000 pounds empty. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty heavy. That's why it gets such bad gas mileage. Mm -hmm. um, that's the same. It's got lights and here's the vents. So, and there's a pass through there for this is where the oxygen tank sits. Uh huh. You know, for the ambulance. Yeah. And I had to take the ambulance, the oxygen out. And then you got a big storage. Uh, yep. I've got tons of yeah, storage. Tons of and this storage. is where you plug it in like, a, like an RV. Uh huh. You home. made it. No, that was, that was part of the ambulance. Uh -huh. uh, when the ambulance is at, at the station, they just plug it in to keep mm -hmm. running the engine. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Yeah. And then the interior, uh, you can walk. You can walk through to yeah. the back with a little doorway. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
GC. I, I can see up there. That's a little switch that switches between the two batteries. <laughs> what? <is it>? <laughs> <laughs> so many buttons. Oh, what are those? Oh, yeah, they they control the the flashing emergency lights. Uh huh. And then these lights here on the side are big spotlights. So all walks. Then? Yeah, I can turn those on and it oh. lights up the area, you know, oh. for the paramedics to work on people. Uh -huh. um, and then there's there's radio and the switches for the uh, siren and the, the speaker. You know, I can, hello, hello, talk to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, if there's a traffic jam, heavy jam, then get out of my way. <laughs> and then the police arrest me and put me in jail. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. I yeah, like so the, diamond plates. Yeah. yeah. It, and since it's aluminum, it, it doesn't yeah. weigh nearly as much as the steel would. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's, that's the other spotlight. Uh -huh. And then those are flashing lights, and of course that's the emergency lights. Mm -hmm. They do all kinds of different things. They, they, oh. they can flash, or they can strobe, or they can like whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> <laughs> they do all kinds of different, oh, different yeah. things. Nice. It, it's it's built awesome. on, a, on a Ford uh, van chassis. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. E350 chassis. E350. And there's the big, big speakers down there. Uh huh. Yeah. But it's a heavy duty. It's got a really big radiator, mm -hmm. and it's got a little radiator for the power steering to cool the power steering fluid mm -hmm. and the transmission. So you don't need to get rid of all things. No. The lights and speakers. Now they let me. That let me keep all those. Oh, you can keep all this. Okay, yeah. good. And of course, there's just lights every mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At nighttime, uh, if I turned all the lights on, everybody in this parking lot would be like, ah. and, uh, like here's the batteries, mm -hmm. the, the battery compartment, two house yeah. two batteries. Yeah, because the lights, you know, use mm -hmm. so much. Well, these are, are house batteries, so they're they're like 1,100 cranking amps. Mm -hmm. um, they, they act like a house battery and like a solar storage battery. Uh, yeah. It usually only takes a couple hours to charge those batteries back up mm -hmm. in the morning. Yeah. Uh, the panels are great. Why yeah. did you put on the solar panel on the roof? Well, uh, I didn't want to put any holes in the roof, for yeah. one thing. Because, you know, when I'm camping out in the woods, a lot mm -hmm. of times I'll park the van, mm -hmm. like, in the shade. Mm -hmm. And I can take the panels and put them out in the sunshine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the, the van doesn't get real hot. Mm -hmm. And then here's the other so, big cabinet. There, I've got my shelter, and the, the hummingbirds really like these red lights. Oh uh, yeah! So they uh, every morning mm -hmm. the hummingbirds come by and, and, uh -huh. and wake me up. But yeah, you can go ahead and either, either from the side or from the back, whichever is okay, more convenient. Thank you. Let's see. There's more wow. cabinets, mm -hmm. and that's my my refrigerator. Oh uh, yeah. The it can plug in. It can plug into the truck or plug into the yeah. solar. This cabinet looks so very heavy. It does yeah. the the, uh, but it's all built into the frame. Oh, you know, so yes. there's no problem with it. Yeah. Uh, those doors will slide open and close, and mm -hmm. they open up and up like this. All these things made by from the company. Uh, from the company Medtech. Yeah. Built, yeah. And those those are those are controls that control like mm -hmm. the, the air conditioning and mm -hmm. and uh, and all that stuff. Why is the handle <laughs> so good? So mat, you sleep here, mat, double mattress. Uh, just a yeah. little air mattress. Yeah. I like it. So awesome. Bought it on eBay. Yeah, um, I, I looked at it and kept following it. Hmm. And um, uh, this one came up for sale and it had all the pictures of it. Hmm. And the pictures look great. Yeah. So I drove up to Illinois from Indiana and, and looked at it and I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, here you go. Here's your money. <laughs> wow. But it's, it's made right up uh, in Indiana. Mm -hmm. Just like most of the RVs are made in Indiana. So buying and selling an ambulance, there's no any restrict. Mm -mm. Wow, yeah. that's nice. A lot of old ambulances get get oh. sold to a company mm -hmm. that ship them overseas, mm -hmm. ship them to South America or ship them to Asia mm -hmm. or Africa. Mm -hmm. Fire department was getting rid of it, mm -hmm. and um, they were using it in November, and I bought it in May. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this! It's already insulated. Yeah. yeah. It's really warm. It doesn't yeah. take much of anything to heat it. Yeah, okay. well, you got to figure it's designed as an ambulance, so they want to keep it, mm -hmm. you know, warm in the wintertime for people yeah. that are hurt or cool in the summer. Uh -huh. uh, and of course, yeah. those are just all cabinets, uh -huh. you know, with cabinets on the left and 
drawers and nice big open space. Do you have a sink? I don't I... have a sink. I've got a, a little pop-up sink mm. uh -huh. that I just I just pull out and put hot water in and, and do the dishes uh -huh. by hand. And the bathroom? How, the bathroom, I how just do use you use a little five gallon bucket? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And shower? And sh shower. Here's my shower. Ah, uh, sort of. It holds shower. five gallons of water. Uh huh. And then the, the black plastic gets real hot during the day. Uh huh. And then. Um, <laughs> nice. Yeah. How much oh, did that, they cost? That was like ten dollars. Ten dollars. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah, that was really inexpensive. Mm. And it, this just hangs up on the side. You know, mm. wherever the sun's at, I just hang it up. Mm. But these windows don't open. But the side windows will slide slide open. But those windows stay. But this yeah. stuff keeps, you can't see through it. Uh -huh. That the black stuff, when this is closed, uh -huh. wow. you can't see the inside. No, any. I can see inside. Anything. But you can see out. Wow. But you can't see in. That's yeah. very cool. <laughs> yeah. I can see outside. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah. You can get a private. Right. Yeah, yeah I don't have yeah. to bother with it because yeah. you can't see in it. These things, the, the people that I bought it from said, uh -huh. This cost $168,000 when it was brand new. That's how much the fire department paid for it. Brand new how much? $168,000. $168,000? Wow. <laughs> this size? This size. This this one right this one wow. right here. 168 when they bought it. Wow. It's it's got a But you you got a 45,000? I got it for 5. 50,000. 5. Just 5. 5,000? <laughs> yeah. I thought it was 50. No, just 5,000. 5 grand. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> wow. So yeah, great deal. Great. Yeah. It's a great deal. The, the super, I mean, it's just so strong. Uh-huh. Uh, wow. They, they tested these these boxes out. Mm. If you're if you're strapped in there, you're mm. supposed to be able to survive a 55 mile an hour crash. Mm. Uh, so good. Yeah. I put new batteries. Mm -hmm. And a new starter and a new alternator in it when I bought it. Oh, oh. so how much do you put it after? Well, the solar system was probably fifteen hundred, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was probably mm -hmm. fifteen hundred. Yeah. And the uh, the alternator was a thousand dollars. The starter was was uh, three hundred, mm -hmm. and the batteries were about five hundred. Mm -hmm. So I paid five, and then I then I spent another four probably. Okay. Um, which I think still uh -huh. was a great deal. Yeah, really, you got a great yeah. deal. Do you like this lifestyle? Yeah, it's great. You, you, you get are, to meet you so are a, many people. You're a full timer. Full time. Yeah. Full time. Yeah. Mm. All the time. All the time. I'm. Yeah, I'm planning on staying out here uh -huh. as long as long as I can. It doesn't cost a whole lot to live. Yeah, that's on the good. road. Yeah. Yeah, I spend less than much less than one thousand dollars per month. Right. How about you? How much you spend? I'm probably spending. 500 and 750. Mm -hmm. It depends on oh. how much I drive. Uh huh. All include insurance. Right. And, insurance yeah. on this was pretty cheap. Yeah. And my cell phone. Mm hmm. And that's pretty much yeah. that's it, except for what yeah. I spend for food and, yeah. and gas. Yeah. That's a wonderful life. <laughs> yeah. Not very big cost money. It really doesn't. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, a lot of the people on the road are just mm. Social Security. Uh huh. That's that's all they're getting, and and you can live pretty comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's comfortable and sunshine all the well, time. You know, Indiana, we don't have any mountains, <laughs> so I'm just amazed at seeing the mountains, and mm -hmm. we don't have any desert. Yeah, and I'm you know I'm seeing the desert for the first time. Uh, I I just love it. I can't wait to get up and see, you know, like mm -hmm. Salt Lake and mm -hmm. and uh, some of the Rocky Mountains. So Altair is closing tomorrow. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So after that, you now what's your plan? Where are you going? Well, I think I'm gonna go down to Yuma. Yuma. Which is down yeah. the Mexico, yeah. Arizona, and California yeah. border. Much hotter than here. Yeah, but I want to go over in, into Mexico, you know, and go visit it, you know, see, see some of the, the sites in Mexico. Uh, crossing the border. Mexico. Across the border, oh. right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and I just uh, want to go over and see. Uh, mm. the, there's enormous sand dunes mm. down outside of Yuma, just yeah. like the Sahara Desert. Mm -hmm. They said. So I want to go see the okay. see the sand dunes. Okay, thank oh. you so much, Brian. <laughs> Take your time and showing me your beautiful home. I appreciate you taking the interest. Yeah. Yeah, and then nice to talk to you. Well, it was my pleasure. It was good yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay.